Okay, good morning. Sorry, now we're in afternoon. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. Good. Good if, you can, if you can hear me, I would like to see you type a yes in the chat group. All right, fantastic. Good. So um, this is 12.03 by my time. So I'll just give us in like two minutes, a bit like, like five minutes after 12, we're going to start. All right, so once again, thank you for joining this meeting. So we'll start in two minutes. Thank you. All right, so good. I think it's a good time to start. So welcome to today's class. We call it the Classic Financial Trading Program. It's your introduction to e-trading business. Your introduction to e-trading business. Once again, you're welcome. So my name is Adia Mioluwache, and we'll be the one taking us for the class today. If you want to see my face, let me see, let me see the chat. I'm just going to show you my face for a little, then... Maybe I'll go back to my ninja mood. So if you, yeah, I wish I can see everybody's face also, but it's just, just going to make the whole thing look rowdy. But if you want to see my face, let me see, say yes, sir. Okay, I'm seeing a yes, sir already. I just want so that people can know the face behind the voice. Or is it the voice behind the face? Oh, so everybody wants to see my face. Oh, okay. I haven't thought we are going to say no. Mr. Abdullahi, you say you're finding it difficult to hear anything. That should be from your side. Please work on your audio. So how many of us can see my face? How many of us can see me? I have to put on this big headset so that the voice can be clear, so that we don't have to, you know, have issues with hearing me. So I want to believe everybody can see my face now. Good. All right, so... I'm only trying to do this so that we can see the face behind the, I mean, the voice behind the face. Um, I'm just coming out from a meeting and because I know this, this is a very interesting thing that, I mean, a very interesting class that I have to take. So I'm a little bit disorganized. So that's why I want to, you know, just, just hide my face a little. The main thing you need to do is just hear, hear the voice. But over time, I will come back again, maybe show, show my face. It should be interesting. All right, so let's get to it. Like, um, I can't remember the name of one of us said, let's start immediately. So I believe in that also. And here, that's Mr. Uche. If I'm not, if if that's a, if it's a guy, that's Uche Umwa. He said, no time, let's go ahead. So I'd like to go ahead also. All right. So once again, you're welcome to today's class, the Classic Financial Trading Program. And it's, um, we're going to be talking about introduction to e-trading business. Introduction to each and So I'm going to start with this. If you can't remember, I told you my name is Adiemi Uluwashin. For those of us just joining in, Adiemi Uluwashin, that's my name. So I'm going to start with this quote. It says, when you know better, you do better. 
and that's by Maya Angelou. When you know better, you do better. What does that mean? It simply means that if you know what you're doing, you get the right result. And because you know what to do, you know where to put your energy and when to put your strength. Example is this. Let's say, for example, you know that for you to get A in your in whatever thing, yeah, maybe your class or something, you know that you need to read maybe two hours. You already know that that is what is going to take you to get that. All you need to do is just do it. And once you do that, you know you're going to get the result. Another is another example I like to use that for is um, let's say, for example, you're trying to move from point A to point B. And you know that you know the kind of car you want to carry. Let's say you are using a Ferrari. If you are using a Ferrari, you know the capability of that Ferrari. You know what it can do. It helps you to get to that place faster. Imagine someone that has a Ferrari and is using it, you know, to, to learn how to drive. That means the person does not know the capability of the car because for the fact that you're learning with a Ferrari, it means you will not use that car to its full potential. It means you, you will not use that car to its full potential. But for someone that understands the power of a Ferrari or a, or a Lamborghini, you know, or a Formula One car, they know what that car can do and they're going to use it to its full capacity. So the same thing I want to start with today, that when you know better, you do better because you know what that thing can get. I mean, the results you can get with that. So let's move right into it. So what is the objective of this session? is to show us how to use e-business to increase our income in the year 2023. The simple objective of this event we are joining in today is how to use e-business to increase our income in year 2023. And also, how that we also plan out is because, you know, we everybody has plans to get better. Everybody has plans to get better. So what I'm going to tell you is this. This class today is going to be very informative class. It's going to be educating and it's going to be very motivating. So three things we're going to be doing. We're going to be educating ourselves. We're going to be motivating ourselves and also going to be what? Informing ourselves on a lot of things. And I can say it, if you know your weight, if you know your weight presently, maybe you're weighing 70 or you're weighing, weighing on something. By the time we finish this class today, you're going to be weighing a whole lot more because of the level of information you're going to be getting you are going to be weighing what? A whole lot more. So this event is brought to you by this company, Rally Trade and Rally Academy. Rally Trade and Rally Academy. So who is Rally Trade? Who is Rally Trade? Rally Trade is an international financial service provider that started in Europe and was established in Nigeria in 2015. And what we do is we provide brokerage services to markets with emerging economies. So the long and short of it is, Rally Trade is a brokerage firm. It got established in Europe, then came to reestablish ourselves in, in Nigeria in 2015. And what we do is we offer cutting edge technologies with our trading platform at low transactional fees on a number of areas of financial instruments. You know, our instruments with like precious metals, example, which is gold, energy, like crude oil, currencies like dollar, pound, you know, shares, indices, and other tradable instruments in the global financial market. And we provide what? Unmatched trading experience. So what we do basically is we try to bring our trading platform closer to people to the process whereby they can make something for themselves because we understand that the major goal of anybody right now is, you know, have to do better with whatever they are doing now in terms of finance. So in 2015, we won this award, the best newcomer in the, in the region. That's in 2015 at the Lagos Financial Expo. Then also in 2018, we won the best broker in Nigeria at the same event, at the same expo, but this time in 2018, the Lagos Traders Expo. But the most fascinating thing now is that over the years, we've been winning a lot of awards, which last year also, we won African most reliable online trading platform, which means to us that is a sign to show to us that we're actually doing fantastically well, regardless of how any of that, because the thing is, how you know you are doing well is, example, when you are in school, how you know you are doing well is when you are getting results. If you want to know how you're doing well, Let's say, for example, you started your class 
at maybe tenth position. Then by the end of the class, you know you are getting to maybe second position or like fifth position. You do you understand that you started from ten, but now you have gotten to what five? That gradually you got to two, and gradually you're the best in class. Which means what is a sign that you are doing better. Sorry, I'm hearing, I'm seeing a lot of um, notifications. If you can hear me, if you can hear me, please, I would like to say, let's, I want to see people type yes. So we know that those who are having issues hearing us are either having network problem from their side. So if you are, if you can not hear us, please try to log out and re-log in back. It might be network issues from your side. At least almost everybody in the class can hear us. So moving on, Rally Trade actually has offices in four major locations in Nigeria. We have offices in four major locations. We have two offices here in Lagos. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm talking from the Lagos headquarters office. We have two offices here in Lagos. We have an office in Portacourt. We have in Ibadan. We have in Abuja. But then there is also something we have, which we call the Partner Training Centers. We have it in the over 13 states in Nigeria. Lori Benin, Uyo Abel Kutakano, we have in Kaduna, we have in Ikiti, we have in Akure, you know, we have in so many different states because we understand that as it stands, we might not be in the all 36 states of Nigeria, but what we can do is we can have partners who are interested in helping us to spread this gospel and also helping us to educate people when it comes to the business of online business when it comes to online businesses. So we have been able to successfully have at least our centers in like 13 states, uh, in 13 states. So which means wherever you are listening to me from right now, because I believe we are listening from all different parts of Nigeria, which we might have an office very close to you where you can also connect with us. So this was the award we won last year, 2022, that I talked about at the African FinTech Brand Innovation Award we won africa's most reliable online training platform it was a show that our efforts are not in vain that we're doing our best and we plan right from that to also continue to do better so who is rally academy remember i told you this program was brought to us by rally academy and rally trade so who is rally academy and i also believe that some of us who saw our heart you might have been seeing maybe rally academy or you might have been seeing rally trade so rally academy is actually the educational hub of rally trade and what we do is we offer educational services in e-businesses like e-trading, e-commerce, e-services, and other online businesses for us to do what? For us to gain more or increase and create new streams of income for ourselves. Some of us might have some businesses we are doing and we're looking for businesses we can add to it. Some of us are looking for some other online business that we can even start. So what Rally Education does is we train people, we offer educations when it comes to different online businesses that we believe that you can make money from. So when you're talking about web design, you're talking about online marketing, you're talking about e-trading, you're talking about, you know, how to sell and buy online, you know, these are the different avenues that we bring education to people to help better our personal life, our businesses and all. So what will we learn today? We're going to be learning today Three major things is what we're going to be concentrating on in today's class. First is the foundation for creating wealth. The second thing is the global financial market. What is the global financial market? And the third thing is how to make money from this global financial market. So I want you to have it in mind that we're going to be understanding what are the foundations for creating wealth. So if you're thinking about creating wealth now, what are the foundations? What are the things you need to put into consideration? The second thing is the global financial market. What is this global financial market? and also how you can actually make money from this global financial market. So what are the foundations for creating wealth? So if you're thinking about creating wealth now from 2023, which is this current year, and like we all know, we are in June right now. As of today's date, this is 21st of June, of June 2023. So if you're thinking about creating wealth for yourself right now, and these two factors you can see on my screen right now are not in your maths or are not in your thinking, then you are not ready. I can tell you for a fact, that means you are not ready. And what do I mean by that? First, you need to have what? Multiple streams of income. You need to have multiple streams of income. Then the second thing also is you need to have your business on the internet. So these two things are very critical now when you're thinking about creating wealth in the year 2023. 
Now let's start with multiple streams of income. What is multiple streams of income? I can tell you this for a fact that multiple streams of income right now is no longer a luxury, but it's what is a necessity. What do I mean? So for you to have multiple of, or multiple streams of income now is not a show of saying that you are a rich man. It's a show of the fact that for you to survive right now, you need to have more than one business. That is what it means when I'm talking about multiple streams of income. In the short form is I'm saying you need to have more than what? More than one business more than one business and i can tell you when i'm talking about more than one business i'm not saying so let's say for example you are a tailor you sew clothes or maybe you have one business that you're doing and you're thinking oh so that means if i have my one of my shop in lagos i have another one in the state maybe i have another one in Kano. that means multiple streams of income no you're only still you're just spreading the single income you have you're only just spreading it into different states. But when I'm talking about multiple streams of income, I'm talking about you having more than one different kind of businesses. So which means if you're a fashion designer, it also means that what? You can also be selling fuel because fuel now is another big thing now, which some of us also do based on the new condition of the country. Then also you are thinking about maybe you can even have a POS business or you can also be selling shoes. You know, this is just the same one person. These are what characteristics of what multiple streams of income. So we need to understand right now that it's no longer luxury. You know, it's those days when we used to think it's rich people that have the capacity to have more than one businesses. But right now, for you, for a fact that you want to survive in this present world, you need to have what more than one businesses are doing. And I'm going to explain to us why. There are some people I'm going to be mentioning. This person you can see on our screen right now is called Warren Buffett. So I want to put it out there. It's like a note, if you wish you need to write it down. I want to believe some of us that we have our, our writing materials with, with us right now, our viral notepads and stuff like that. If you don't have them, you can also find time. You can type it on your, on your smartphone or whatever you're joining us with right now. So this is Warren Buffett. And he's saying something. He said, if your salary is your only source of income, you are one step away from poverty. If your salary is your only source of income, you are one step away from poverty. Now, this man called Warren Buffett is seen as a, as a, as a, how would I put it now? You know, they are, they are seen as driving forces when it comes to the economy of the world. This is one man that I know that has been a billionaire for over 60 years. Right now, Warren Buffett is about 92 years old and he's still in the top 10 billionaires of the world. He's 92 years old. He's still about, he's still, if not number six or so right now, he's part of the top billions. And when these people are talking, you know that they've seen things. So he's saying here that if your salary is your only source of income, you are one step away from property. Now, let me explain this to you. Why is your salary, why being, uh, why is your salary being one step away from poverty? You know, when someone is poor, you can say someone is in poverty when that person is not expecting money from anywhere. We have them, we, you know, we have people who are we who, who we see as an as a as a symbol of poverty. You know, we have them on the road, beggars and all of that. For people like that, they are not do they are not expecting money from anywhere. What they are expecting money from is when I beg you and you I expect you to show me sympathy, you know, pity my condition and give me something. So it's not like there is a necessity. They, they don't know where money is coming from. They can be in a particular place and not get anything and maybe get to another location and you get money. So for them, there is no guarantee of where they're going to see money. That's what it means to be in poverty. But when you're not talking about salary, you know that salary, at least, you know, by the end of the month, either some few weeks before the end of the month, depending on the salary structure of payment, you know that at least before the, by the end of this month, something is coming in because what? You have worked for it. So it means that at least you have one thing that you are expecting money to come from. That is what it means to be one step. So which means that if that salary should get cut off, you're not expecting money from anywhere, which means you are what? You're not in poverty. God forbid. That's what we always say, God forbid. But that is what an indication to, to you to understand that your salary should Underline that word, should not be your only source of income. And I can tell this, I can tell you this, which I believe I want us in the house to also bear me witness for. For those of us who, who have experienced this in the past or maybe are experiencing it right now. There are two facts that I understand about salary. Two major facts I understand about salary. If it's, if it's work, if you have experienced it, I want you to also 
comment in the section. Now, the first thing is this. Salary is the one thing that I know that before you get it, you have finished spending it, yes or no? Before you, the, before you collect the money, before the salary enters, it is gone. You have finished spending it. So the day it comes in, it's like the, that day, if you give it like max that full day, by the time you check your account balance, you realize that the salary that just came in is gone. That is one fact I understand about salary. Then the second thing also about salary is this. That period did not even comes. There are so many things that you don't have planned for it before that will just show up. Yes or no? I, I don't want this to be like, I want it to be an interactive session where I, will, I want to see us respond to this. If you understand that if this has happened to you before or it's something you are experiencing when it comes to salary, salary, I can tell you, when it comes, it's gone. There's this Yoruba added that says salary, you know, it's just, it just came. It just came. And also, there is a song around that says money slow to enter, money quick to go. I think it was done by MI or something. I can't remember. You know, money slow to enter, money quick to go. That's how it is. So we need to understand right now from today that our salary should not be our only source of income. And I'm going to be telling us other reasons why we need to have more than one stream of income. I want to ask how many of us know who this man is? This man that I'm showing you on the screen right now. Remember I said this earlier, there are some people who are driving forces of the world that if you want to be rich, you need to know them. I have this very simple rule that says you cannot be rich if you don't know rich people. It's not a cause. You cannot be rich if you don't know rich people. The reason being that is this. You can't understand things you can't. Uh, I think there's a way they say it. You can't receive the things you don't respect. This is Bernard Arnold. This is one of the richest men in the world right now, if he's not the number one. Because as of last week, he was competing with um, this other guy, Elon Musk. But this is Bernard Arnold. He's a French entrepreneur. You can see all these businesses he has outlined. These are the businesses he controls. These are the businesses he controls. I also want you to do a self-evaluation of yourself right now. Right now, as you are, as you are in this class, I want you to do a self-evaluation. And what is that self-evaluation? The thing is this, look around you. Look at the friends you have around you. This, is, this was an evaluation I did for myself some time ago, which will help you to understand whether you should keep your friends or you should chase them away, or maybe just leave them. If you know that right now you enter a 1 million Naira problem or a 5 million Naira problem, and you don't have a friend that you can call to bail you out, then there is a problem. There is a problem. So the reason why I'm saying that is you need to start doing a self-evaluation of yourself. In, my, in our term, we'll say you need to call a general or federal executive council meeting of yourself. A federal executive council meeting of yourself. You call yourself to a meeting and tell yourself, we cannot continue our life like this. So if you know right now that you enter a problem and a, maybe a one million naira problem, let me just use a million naira as an example. If you enter a one million problem right now and there is a deadline of maybe the next 24 hours to solve that problem and you don't have any friend or you don't have anybody around you that you can call to solve you from that to save you from that problem then there is a big problem you need to sit down and reevaluate yourself so what am i trying to say they are the names of the people i'm going to be mentioning if you don't know them you need to what you need to sit down and start researching rich people how do they live how do they do things how do they do their life so this is bernard arnold what I'm trying to point out from Bernard right now is this. They have multiple streams of income. Look at um, Dior. Look at Oblot. Look at Deventry. Look at Louis Vuitton. NSC. These are the businesses controlled by this man. And that is why he can be listed as one of the biggest men in the world, if not the richest. If I should check today's start. If I check today's start, it might be the richest right now because there's a competition between him and this second person I want to show us. Look at these other businesses he have. Apart from these ones I showed us earlier. Look at how spread out they are, the LVMH uh, merchandise. Look at all of this. He, he has shares in some of them. He has major controls of some of them in all of them. But look at this second person. I'm sure we know this one. If we don't know this one, then there's a bigger problem. This is Elon Musk. This is Elon Musk. As of last week, Elon Musk is the richest man in the world. So between him 
and Bernard, there's been a tussle. You know, you are going to be the richest. No, I'm the richest this week. Oh, you, you are the richest next week, you know. And what am I trying to also point out about Elon Musk and the other guys that will be showing us is that they have more than what? More than one businesses. Elon Musk, like some of us already know, is the owner of Tesla. Then open AI, chat GPT, you know, presently he had this new new research that the federal government in the US just sanctioned the neurological surgery, where it can do surgery using um, tech to solve mental problems. And that, that condition alone is going to push him out to another, another richness level, if I can use that word. So look at this third person I'm also going to show us. Who is this? Jeff Bezos. At least we should know Jeff Bezos, the owner of Amazon. So apart from Amazon, you can see this other Bezos expedition that he has, where he has shares, you know, he has controls and all of those things on them. Another person I also want to show us, which I, I didn't have here, is a Mark Zuckerberg, which some of us already know for Facebook. He has Instagram, he has WhatsApp, you know, he has some of these companies. And what am I trying to explain to us with this is that for us to understand that right now, multiple streams of income is what saves you from this present economy. Multiple streams of income. So if billionaires are having it, why not? It's a pointer to tell you that that is the next way forward. So the next thing I want us to show us is let's, let's quickly use this example. The reason why you can't depend on a single income. One of the reasons why you can't depend on a single income is this. Let's think of our income as a what? As a table. Let's think of our income as a table. So look at this one-legged table right now. Let's say, for example, this table is supported by what? Only one leg. If that one leg should break, what happens? This table collapses. That's what happens if your salary is the only source of income. If you get fired, that means you are out. Then you start thinking of which way forward. So this one-legged table is just standing like our salary. But imagine a situation where you have a four-legged table, which means if one of these legs should break, what happens? It might bend, it might wobble a little bit, but then what? It's still going to stand. The reason why it's still going to stand is because what? It is to show you that there are so many things that what? That will keep you standing. A lot of this problem happened when the corona happened. Okay, Mr. Emmanuel, right? If I'm not mistaken, he said, these guys have made it. Yes, these are the things they did. And these are the things we're also trying to work on to make it. That's why I'm trying to make us understand it. Even Dangote, if I should give as an example, Dangote, if you look at all of the other businesses Dangote has, these are things that make people billionaires. These are things that make people rich. Look around you. Averagely, the re an average rich person around you have at least two business. An average person. You can't depend on a salary to become rich. That's the long and short I'm trying to make us understand here. You can't depend on your salary. When Corona happened, a lot of people lost their jobs. Till tomorrow, some people are still feeling the effect of Corona. But someone like me, when Corona happened, I was happy. Because why? I could still work from home. I have so many other things I was doing. I could still work from home and still make money. So I was fine. It was even a very wonderful time for me. I had time to spend with my family. I had so many of my businesses online. And, you know, so it was it was a very wonderful time. It's just that I cannot be praying for Corona again. It's just that I cannot be praying for Corona again. That is it. You understand? So we need to understand that we need to have more than one. And, and I'm saying it right now, if, you're, if you have just one business, now let's even forget whether it's a salary. Let's even say you have another business. Maybe you are you have one particular business that you want. What I'm trying to make us understand also is this. Whether it's salary or another personal business, you can't depend on just one source of income. You can't. You can't depend on just one source of income. And that is how it is. Mr. Sonny, I, I thank you for also supporting my speech right now. You said if you study rich people, you will likely be rich. That's the fact. And I can tell you that it's a fact. It's something that I've been doing recently and I've been able to understand that is how things work. So let's move to the second thing, which is what? The internet. The internet. Why is the internet important now in the wealth creation system of this present moment? I'm going to tell you this. This is one of the quotes by Bill Gates. He said, there will be two types of businesses in the next five years. Those that are on the internet and those that are out of business. 
He said, those are the two type of businesses you're going to have in the next five years. Those that are on the internet and those that are out of business. There is this particular quote where he reframed this particular statement. He said it inside his book, business at the speed of thought. If you have time, try to read. And I, I can also point this out to us right now. Please, if you don't like reading, is a big, how would I put it? It's a big um, factor for, for you to become financially successful. You need to develop the habit of reading. You need to do it. And once you, for those of us that read, you find out that, yes, it's, very, it's a very interesting thing. In this book, Business at the Speed of Thought, he said it. He said, in, in this present age, two things will be important. If your business, the way he said it is, he said, if your business is not on the internet, your business will soon be out of business. And, he's mentioned, and he made this quote when he, was, when he wrote the book in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. Look at, fast forward, we are in 2023 now. I can tell you most of the rich and the successful businesses we have right now in the world are online businesses. And I'm going to also point out some examples to us. Most of the big and successful businesses we have right now are online businesses. Going, gone in those days when we used to take oil companies at the big boys. But we understand right now how much they are, being, how much they are paying tech boys. Almost everybody now wants to be called the tech boys. You know, an average, and I know averagely now, some of my friends that are tech boys, how much they earn monthly, or how much they earn weekly. We're talking in thousands of dollars. We're talking in thousands of pounds. So we need to understand that where the business is right now, where the money is right now is what? It's on the internet. Now look at some of this data I want to show us. This is the most valuable brand in 2017. You find out that the first, from one to 10, there is no oil company. No oil company. We have Google, Amazon, Apple, AT&T, Microsoft, Samsung, you know. But one of them I want to point my attention to is Walmart, number eight. Walmart is like our own shop, right? But you know the way shop, right, is shop, right, is like a store in the entire mall. But Walmart is the entire mall. If also for some of us that know shop, right, we understand that shop, right, is only occupying a particular spot in an entire mall. But on Walmart's part, Walmart is that entire mall. So, but the funny thing now is this, Walmart in only US has over 400 stores, like that mall, over 400. But look at this same case. The same thing Walmart is doing is the same thing Amazon is doing. The same thing Walmart is doing is the same thing Amazon is doing. But in this case, Amazon has just one company just one building, Walmart has over 400. Walmart, Amazon has one building and a website. But you see Walmart, he has 400, but look at their space. And I'm going to show some other fun facts, some interesting data. Look at 2020. Walmart is no longer in the picture, but who is number one? Amazon. Amazon number one in 2020. And there was, a, there was a reason why Amazon became number one in 2020, if some of us can remember. If some of us can remember, Amazon, what happened in 2020? What happened? Can someone just tell me what happened? One of the major events that happened in 2020 that pushed Amazon to become number one. Anybody? COVID. Fantastic, Mr. Erio. COVID. I don't know if he's a guy or a lady. I'm sorry. COVID. COVID was one of the things that pushed Amazon to number one in the world. Why? Because at that point, everybody was at home. But we still needed things. We still needed, nobody was going to any store. Nobody was going to any physical building to get anything. That's why you can also see on this list, we have Amazon. We have Visa. People need to pay with their cards. We have Google. A lot of things were happening. We were in their house. Facebook, you know, these are this was a period when a lot of all of these tech guys made it big. There was one funny story around this COVID. I don't, I don't know if we've heard, if we heard, if we heard about it. It was during 2020 also that we had this Black Lives Matter issue, the George Floyd case, where we had um, the police in the U.S. kill a civilian, George Floyd. So it caused a lot of agitation. People were rioting and all of that. But some of us here, I don't know if we've heard of Amazon Go before. Amazon. Amazon, there you have G-O. Amazon Go is a store that does not have any cashier 
It doesn't have any human interaction. All you need to do is go there. He scans you as you enter. Whatever you pick, he automatically deducts it from your Amazon account. So automatically deducts it from your Amazon account. So what now happened? During this riot, a lot of people, you know, were looting stuff. I saw some of the videos, you know, entered the Mercedes store, broke cars, you know, destroyed a lot of things. So I think some of them now went into Amazon store, Amazon Go. Got in, was now trying to pick things. You know, it's like a, it's like a, like a supermarket. It has food stuff. It has um, tech. You know, it has so many things that Amazon sells. So people just entered there and were picking things. And an average person in the U.S. has an Amazon account. Like an average, almost everybody has an Amazon account. Almost everybody. Because why? Things from Amazon are cheap. So almost everybody, you know, if you, you can buy things, they deliver to your house. Those are some of the fantastic things about Amazon. So some of these people that went into this Amazon Go started looting, you know, stole things, forgetting what Amazon Go is about. As they were coming out, they were just getting debited. They were just getting debited. So Amazon made a whole lot of money even with the, during the chaos. But the problem with, with this situation was the same thing happened in our country, Nigeria. If some of us remember, we had the NSAS issue. NSAS. The Lekki Mall was also looted. But in this case, the people who owns the store lost a lot of money. Because why? They were not applying technology to their business. You are not applying technology to their business. The technology we have, the highest technology we have here is maybe you, you pick something, you buy it, and you sell. You, 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 pick, you pick something, you pay for it. The only highest level of technology is our POS system and all of that. So what I'm trying to make us understand here is this. The biggest brands right now in the world are what? Are internet-based companies. One of the businesses that the internet, the evolution of internet affected in Nigeria is cab driving, you know, the taxi. I remember very well those days that were yellow cab. Before you get, before you can use them, you know, you have to go to the park, order for them to come to your house, you know, all of those things. But these days you can be in your house. You can be in your house. And those days it used to be very expensive. But these days you can be in your house, sit down, take your app, whether it's Uber or is is um is bold or we have so many of them right now in drive and all of that at the comfort of your home you can hold that they will come to your house pick you up and drop you at wherever you're going you know these are the inventions that tech is bringing Re recently now we have ais ais and if you don't know anything about ais right now please i think we need to start learning some things and be plugging ourselves into it because ais is actually doing a whole lot and helping life so moving forward look at the brand 2022 2022. What I want to even make us understand in this 2022, why I brought it up is this. If you check it very well, you can see number five after Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft. You now see Walmart. Walmart is now back on the most valuable businesses in the US. Why? Because they found out how much Amazon made during the COVID period. So they realized that if they want to, if they want to stay in business, if they still want to continue doing business, they need to do what? They need to come to the internet. And right now you can order for anything on Walmart. If you go to their website, they're also trying to mirror what Amazon is doing, but Amazon has already gotten that leverage ahead. Now they are back. They are back on what? On the chat. So we need to understand, so we need to understand the importance of what? Of the internet in this present economy, the importance of internet in this present economy so now i want us to understand that what that will be going into introducing us to these online opportunities remember we said that we are going to be what we're going to be understanding some of the the businesses we can do online some of the businesses we can do online so right now i'm going to be introducing us some of these online opportunities now, what are these online opportunities? The one I'm going to be concentrating on right now is what? E-trading. The one I'm going to be concentrating right now is what? Is e-trading. So the question is, what is e-trading? What is e-trading? So e-trading is what? It is a method of trading financial items such as stocks, commodities, indices, bonds, or even currencies, and other financial what? Financial derivatives, electronically. That is the long and short 
of what e-trading is. It is the method of trading financial items such as stocks, commodities, indices, currencies, and other financial derivatives elect electronically. Now, this could be either on your phone or your laptop. So the E there is electronic. So it, what we are just saying is electronic what? Electronic trading. And what is trading? Trading is simply buying and selling. So you can shorten everything down to electronic what? Buying and selling of commodities. That is the simplest definition you can understand about e-trading. Now, we also need to understand who a broker is and what are others. So who is a broker? A broker is a what? Is an entity that facilitates the execution of your orders. A broker, like I explained for some of us, and for the benefit of those of us that are just joining in, this program is brought to us by Rally Trade, and Rally Trade is a broker. So Rally Trade is an entity that facilitates the execution of our order. And what is our order? Order is instructions to either buy or sell at what quantity of a particular product. So when it comes to the online, there are commodities you want to buy, like we are applying, it could be a share, it could be a bond, it could be indices, it could be currencies. And you now give an instruction, oh, I want to buy this a particular amount, or I want to sell this particular amount of this product. So the company or the brand or the agency that facilitates that execution is what we call what? A broker. So that is what you need to understand about brokers and others. So what is the unique thing about e-trading? What makes e-trading unique is that your age or your sex does not matter. Your age or your sex doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you're a man or you're a woman, you're a boy or you're a girl, you're 70 years old or you're 18, you're 22 or you're 54. It doesn't matter. The only thing is because what? You don't need what? Strength. All you need is sense. All you need to trade is what? Is sense. Your age and your sex doesn't matter. Also, another thing that makes it interesting and unique is what? Is that you don't need to know people in high places. There are some businesses right now that before you can start, you need to know some people. But when it comes to e-trading, you don't need to know anybody in high places. The only connection you need is what? Internet connection. Once you have your internet connection, that's all. You can start the business of e-trading. I can tell you there are businesses that if you don't know people, you can't start them. But that does has nothing to do with e-trading. So these are the things that makes e-trading unique. And what are the benefits of e-trading? What are the benefits of, of electronic trading? This what? You can trade from home from anywhere in the world. As of right now, you can be on the road, you can trade. You can be in your house, you can trade. You can be in the toilet, you can trade. You can trade from anywhere in the world. You don't have any boss. You don't have any employee. You don't need any office or inventory, no competition. You're not measuring yourself with anybody. No minimal investments and overhead. So your overhead is very minimal. Your investment is very minimal. Some of us, the investment we might need to do is maybe a laptop or a phone. All you need is a smartphone. With a smartphone, you can start trading. Then also what? Unlimited profit potential and immediate income. So this means that you can start now and you can start making money now when it comes to your trading and you can make as much profit as you want you can do this part-time full-time or 24 hours you can turn it to a full-time business or you can do it on the side of whatever business you are doing and then one of the most important or the most beautiful thing for me about trading is what you can trade at your leisure so it's not like it's a must it's a do or die you have to be no you can trade that you you can trade for the next five minutes make some money and you're done for the day you're trading at your leisure trading at your free time and therefore, those, for some people that make it a full-time business, then you can trade at any time they want. So these are some of the basic and the most interesting benefits of what? Of e-trading. So the question we always ask, or people always ask is this, is it possible to succeed in the business of e-trading? Is it possible to succeed in the business of e-trading? And I can tell you that, what? Yes, I'm very sure of it. I'm very sure of it that, yes, it's possible for you to trade in the business for you to be successful in this business of e trading, and why is that? I'm going to give you know, this man's story. I actually have I have planned out two people's story that I'm going to use. The first person I want to use is Bill Liptus. He is known as the Sultan of Currency. Sultan of Currency. Now, how did he get that name, Sultan of Currency? Bill started off as an as an architect. He studied architecture, but what happened? He ended up as an e trader. And I can tell you this, a lot of highly successful traders, this is how the story started. As, if, as a follow-up question also, 
I want us to confirm, this is also a fact, which I want us to understand that if some of us can fall into this category, it's also an indication that you can be a very successful trader. How many of us right now in this meeting, out of the over 30 something people that are joined in now, how many of us right now are doing what we studied in school? Me for a fact, I can tell you, I'm not doing what I studied. So if you know you are doing what you are studying in school right now, type yes. But if you know that you are not you are not doing what you studied in school, type no. I want to know because every time I ask this question, there's a reason why I always put it. You can see why almost every one of us here. I think I'm seeing only one yes. Almost every one of us here is no. Is is a big indicator. Another yes, fantastic. So let's say out of hundred percent, now we can see maybe only two percent of us are what are not doing what we studied. And okay, we have Mr. Precious, or maybe it's Miss Precious. Um, I always want to be sure if it's a man or a woman. I've been what? It's, you are still in school. So which means, I just want to prepare your minds. Oh, you're a guy, good. So which means what? You might not end up doing what you studied. You can see here from the statistics we just put here, we have almost 90% of the people here what? Not doing what they studied. That's the same story of Bill Liptus right now. Bill, in his own case, also was an architect. But what happened? He ended up as an e trader. I'm here also. I studied economics, but I'm here. What? I'm also an e trader. So it's an indication that it doesn't matter what you study. It doesn't. You can end up what as an e trader. Now look at the second person I want to talk to us about. This second person I want to talk about is called Bruce Kovner. Bruce Kovner. Oh, I have another economist in the house, Mr. Lukman. Fantastic. So that means we are brothers. So this is Bruce Kovner. In Bruce Kovner's case also, he also, you know, he was also a very smart person. And I believe everybody in this room right now is a smart person. Because if you are not smart, you will not find the time to join this interesting training. So he was also a smart person who was also in school. But what happened to him? Life happened to him. His mother died. So when his mother died, everything went upside down, you know, from eating with from eating at good restaurants he started eating on the road you know so many things so basically he lost a whole lot of things but eventually he ended up as what as a taxi driver in new york but it was at this period when he was a taxi driver in new york he found this business of e-trading just like some of us are just getting to know about it today so when he found out about this business he realized that it's something he can he can try since there are no limitations so what did he do? Because he doesn't have money, he borrowed $3,000 from his credit card and started his journey in e-trading. He started trading currencies and futures. And I can tell you, at the end, presently, as of when the data I pulled out for Bruce Kovner was, he made how much? $11 billion. Now, this $11 billion doesn't mean he made it in one month. But over his time, he made $11 billion. That was the highest he did. So which means also that our background doesn't matter, which is what I want us to understand. Our background does not matter. And I can tell you also, almost every one of us here has faced one life issues or another. Like the case of Bruce Kovner. We've been down, but he, even when he was down, still pushed himself up. I'm like, no. And that was how he started as an e-trader. And on um, Bulitu's case, he found out that he can do better as an e-trader than as an architect. And in the business, he became a very successful e-trader and he was nicknamed the Sultan of Currency because his choice of trading instrument is what? His currency. So now I want to show us some examples of people which I already showed us, but I will also give us some practical examples of some people along this class, which I, have, I outlined also. I'm going to show some examples of some practical people who have started this e-trading business also as Nigerians also. So it doesn't look like maybe I'm talking about people outside the country. I'm uh, Nigerians who are also even clients of Rally who have done successfully well for themselves. So what I want you to understand based on the two stories I gave us is that what? Your I can is more important than your what? Than your IQ. Your I can is more important than your And what is your I can? Your I can means your ability to want to get things done. A lot of us out here, you you would have you just realize that there is this. There are some people you know. They are not. It's not like they are 
they are smart people. You just realize that they are just able to get things done. You know, they have this can do spirit. You know, they don't give up on things easily. And I can tell you when it comes to life, that is what is important. Forget the fact that you have brains. Forget the fact that you know, if you have brains and you don't have the willpower to get things done, your brain is, is a waste of time. We, we also, I can tell us also, we have some of us who have, who have friends or you know somebody who is very smart in school. I mean, who is very intelligent in school. But when it comes to the life, you know, all of us are outside now in this real, in the life on the street, like we'll call it. You realize that they don't actually carry out those kind of actions that they used to do back in the days in school, in the real life. So which means what? IQ, IQ is important, but if you don't have the I can spirit that you don't believe you can get things done, your IQ is just a waste of time. Our IQ is a waste of time. So we need to understand our background does not matter. Whether you went to school or you did not go to school or you are, you are, you know, you, you, you don't have, you have some things that are stopping you. It doesn't matter. What is important is like you believe that you can get things done. And that is one of the key things that you need to understand when it comes to e trading. Once you believe you can get it done, you can get it done. So again, what is financial trading? What is financial trading? So the word financial trading is what? It's a very simple word that covers a whole world of opportunity. So it is basically the exchange of ownership of value or simply buying and selling of financial instruments. And examples of these financial instruments are shares, currencies, indices, commodities. So majorly what you need to know is that a person can decide to trade in all or just choose one. Like for the case of Bill Littles, he chose one, just chose currency. And the whole idea is to what? To benefit from the price movement, which is buying when the price is low and selling when the price is what? When the price is high. So the major thing is when it, it's just like a simple business model. You buy something when the price is low and sell it when the price is high. So the same thing you are doing when it comes to e-trading. Only that in this part is now electronic. It's not. It's now electronic. You know, it's not physical. It's not. So you are buying something when it's low and you're selling it when it's high. So that is the long and short of what it means to do financial trading. So I want to give us an example. So this is a stock exchange market. If you don't know what the stock exchange market is, it's, it's not a good thing. You need to write it down and Google it. So basically, what is a stock? A stock is an ownership share in a corporation. So each share denotes what? A part ownership as a shareholder or as a stockholder of a company. You remember those days? So you can say now you are, you are a shareholder of maybe UBA. Because why? You bought some shares from UBA. And at the end of the year, if, she, if UBA should make some profit, they share some of those profits with you. So that is what it means to be a shareholder. So basically, when you buy shares of companies or you buy shares of this thing, you are called what? You are buying a stock. So stocks are traded what? On exchanges all over the world. And the largest in the world is what? Is the New York Stock Exchange. The one I'm showing us the picture here. The New York Stock Exchange is the biggest. So examples of stocks that you can trade when it comes to online trading is what? You can trade the stocks of Amazon. You can trade the stocks of Apple, Google, Facebook, Samsung, you know, all of these other companies are making money from them daily. So the major problem is just you need to know how. So you can make money from all of the shares of this store, um, these companies daily. Then also what is indices? What is indices? So indices is a group of stock. Remember, we talk about stock. Stock is just like, let's say, for example, now Amazon is one, Apple is another, Google is another. So these are single stocks. But when it comes to indices, it's a group of stocks which may support an index. And an index, is me an index measures the value of a section of the stock. So what I want you to understand is this. So by the time you're adding different stocks together, maybe like 30, 4, 30, 100, that is an index. That is an index. And an example of index is what I highlighted on that here for us. We have the Dow Jones, which is the US 30. And what does that mean? That is 30 companies in the US, 30 most profitable companies in the US are what you call Dow Jones. Because remember, indices are what? Are the compilation of what? Different stocks. Then you have the NASDAQ, which is what? Denoted as what? US 100. So this also means the 100 most profitable what? Businesses in the US. And I can tell you this for a fact, which you also need to underline. When it comes to trading, the most profitable of them is index. 
And the reason is why? Because you are trading the, the you know, you are trading successful stocks. So you, if you are trading now, for example, you make more money trading index as against every other commodities. But we we'll, we'll also get into that. So what is a commodity? Commodities are what? Are basic goods used in commerce. So commodities are most often used what? As inputs in the production of other goods and services. And on that, when you talk about commodities, they are classified into three groups. We have metal, energy, and agri produce. And what are metals? You know, metals are what? Are some of the, like we mentioned, if you remember also from our definition, they're just basic goods used in commerce. These are products that are used in what? Production of other goods and services. So we have examples here. We have gold, silver, palladium, platinum. These are what commodities that are used in producing other goods. We have gold, you know, that's where you have gold chains and all of this other thing. But I can tell you also from this picture we have here, which we already know the most popular is what? Is gold. The most popular commodity here is gold. And the reason why gold is more popular is because it is the it is the most valuable. It is the most valuable. And I also want to point this out to you. If you don't know that before, you also need to know it. There's also something I found out recently that I just tried to make a research on. Gold is so valuable that any time a company or a country is at war, the rich people and the government, they store up the value of their economy in what? In gold. They store up the value. So that's why sometimes it pains me when there are wars or when there are riots and some people are now destroying things. Forgetting that the rich people, what they just do is this. When there are issues, they will take their money away from the bank and use it to buy gold and keep. So once they know that there are issues, all of these things are, are now back to normal, they'll sell back those goods to, re, to get back their money. That was why I now found out that most market women, for those of us, if you pay attention, especially in Lagos, you realize that most market women, they usually wear a lot of gold. That's the reason. The reason is because they can use those gold to also borrow money. When they are down, when they are broken, because you find out ah, this woman doesn't have money, but they are wearing gold chains, gold earrings, because they understand that they are storing up the, their money what in those gold. The recent one I was talking about, I found out is that if you notice very well, when we have Nigerians, especially abroad, you notice that most of them, they buy goods a lot. And they most of the time wear it. So most of the time they wear it. Even if you check music artists and all of them, they buy gold, gold chain, gold this. Because why? When they know that they are going broke, they can sell those goods backward for exchange of their money. So gold is a very, very valuable commodity when it comes to the world and another thing is this when an economy is going down the value of gold is always rising that's to show us that at that point the rich people are what they're just buying gold to keep so moving on the other instruments other examples of commodities we also need to understand is what that is most traded when it comes to e-trading is what energies energies Example that I would like to give us during this energy period was when the Ukraine-Russia war started. When the Ukraine-Russia war started, you realize that the value of oil was just going up. The reason being that what? Russia is one of the major supplier of crude oil to the European market. So at that point, and if you, if you can check the start this period, it was that period when the price of gold was also going up. The price of gold was going up when the price of oil was also doing that. Because why? People are just storing up. They realize that if I can't buy oil, let me just save up my money. So but the most traded energy is this one. We have the crude oil WTI, we have the crude oil Brent, and we also have natural gas. Then also we have commodities. Under, I mean, also we have agri produce under commodities. So trade most tradable ag um, agri producer, we have coffee, cotton, corn, wheat, sugar, and cocoa. And one interesting thing when it comes to trading is this. You can trade these commodities virtually, whether they are, they are, there is a disaster or there is harvest. 
you can make money from them either through disaster say for example a cotton farm cut catches fire you can make money from that from that news the, or maybe that farm also just produce some amount of commodities you can also make money from that news and a lot of people are making money from this news every day they're making money from this news every day. Then the last one I'm going to be talking about is what? Currencies. Currencies. So what is currency? Currency naturally, by English, is defined as what? It's simply a bill of exchange, acceptable as a legal tender for payments for goods and what? And services. That is the definition of currency. It's just a bill of exchange, something that you can use to settle debts or you can use to buy goods and services. So currency trading is the exchange of a nation's currency with that of another nation, thereby making profit from continuous change in price rates when compared to each other. So that is currency trading. You are simply what? Exchanging your own currency for the currency of another nation and making money from those price differences. Remember when I said definition of e trading is when someone buys a commodity at a lower price and sell it at a higher price so the same thing you are exchanging your currency for the next currency at the lower price only to make gain from it at the higher what at the higher price all right moving on so we can see here we have so many different currencies it's just very painful the condition of nigeria that nigeria is not what our currency is you know daily giving us i don't want to use the word depression but daily is just, we are trying to pump it, trying to push it up. But these are world currencies. And I can show you also that what? There are some currencies that are called the big seven. Those are the most traded currencies in the world. They are called the big seven. So they are the big seven because they are the, they are the currencies that in most countries are highly accepted and are most traded when it comes to trading. They are most traded. Number one on the list is US dollar the US dollar. We also have the Euro, we have the pound, we have the Japanese yen, you know, we have the um, Swiss franc, you know, all of this Canadian dollar, these are the most traded currencies. We call them the big seven. As of now, China is also trying to enter in this economy so they cannot move maybe in some few years period now, it can be called the big eight. But right now the Chinese currency is not. Is not is not part of the most traded currencies in the world. So how does currency trading work? How does currency trading work? So when it comes to currency trading, unlike stock markets, remember if you remember stock market, in stock market you are just buying a particular stock, the stock of Amazon. You buy and keep, and wait for when the price of that commodity increases, where you make money. That is how stock trading works. So you buy the stock of maybe let's say Samsung, at a particular price when it was low, then when the price increases, which can take a period of weeks, months, or days, depending on how fast those increase happens, then at that point, you can now sell to make money. But when it comes to currency trading, currency trading is where you buy and sell what? The same currency. I mean, at this point, when I'm, what I'm trying to say is, when it comes to currency trading, you are trading the currency of one economy against the other one. This process is called trading in pairs. It's called trading in pairs. So currency market, it requires you to buy one currency and sell the other one. Now, let me give us an example of what I mean. It means that, let's say for example, you have a dollar and you're trying to change it to Naira. So the simple English will mean that you will sell that dollar in your hand to buy the Naira. Unlike in the stock market, you only buy the stock and keep and wait for when the price goes up, so you sell it. So, but in this case, there has to be an exchange. There has to be an instant exchange. If not, then it's not currency trading. So there's what we call the bid price, I mean, the bridge price and the ask price. When it comes to trading, when we try explaining, you understand those factors. But when it comes to trading currencies, you trade them what, in pairs. That means you can't say you are buying euro. You have to buy it and against another currency. So the example I have here is we have the euro dollar. And what this means is we have the quote and we have the base. 
we have the quote and we have the base. So it means here that the euro to one USD is what? One point. So one euro is equal to $1.13411. Just like when I'm saying the Naira. Presently now, we are, we are technically maybe more or less devalued the Naira. So the Naira, I, I think as of today, on the black market should be around maybe 760 something or 750 something if I can't remember. If, if um, we have, but I'm not sure. So what it means is that, so let's say for example, this Euro, let's imagine it's NGN, that is Naira. So we mean that 755 Naira is equal to $1. That's what this means. So here it means, one euro is equal to one point one three four one one dollar. So another example I want to give us is this. Let us use the abokis. I don't know if aboki is a good word, so that I'm not crucified. But we are used. To, we I know we use that word often to to explain people who do bureau they change. So let's say you go to where these people change money. You have dollar, and you want to change it to naira. So what it will mean is that you will take that your dollar. It, it means that you are selling your dollar and you are buying the Naira. That is how currency trading works. So if I should give them just the dollar and walk away, that is not currency trading. I must give you your currency and receive another one. So that is what it means to trade them in peers. So when it comes to trading, what is being traded? When it comes to currency trading, what is being traded? What is being traded is what? Is money. What is being traded is money. And what you are trading is the price difference. The price difference. Another example I'm going to use to depict this is this. Let's say, for example, you go to the market. The market in the money, you are trying to buy a bunch of banana. You know that the price you are going to buy that bunch of banana by 5 a.m., Let's say you go there very early, maybe around 6 or 7 a.m. You go to the market. You buy a bunch of banana for how much? Maybe 2,000 naira for a bunch. You know that by the time you go back to that same market, let's say around 6 p.m. in the evening or maybe 4 p.m. in the evening, you can't buy that same bunch of banana you bought to 2,000 in the morning at that same price because why the prices would have changed. So that is what it means. So when it comes to trading also, that is what it means. You means the price you bought it because prices of commodities are always changing. They are always changing. I can tell you prices of commodities are changing per second. So it means you bought it at a particular price. So you're anticipating to buy it at a lower price and believing it's going to increase where you can sell. So majorly, you're trading price difference, which is equal to what? Equal to money. So let me give us an example. So that at least we can understand this one with this physical illustration. So one dollar was three eighty in March twenty twenty. This was this was a true life story. I mean, what I mean by true life story, as of twenty twenty, our dollar was equal to three eighty. Our dollar was equal to three eighty. So when it comes to trading, so let's say for example you had thirty eight million, you had thirty eight million. It means your thirty eight million can buy you how much? A hundred thousand dollars your 38 million can buy your hundred thousand dollars so if you know beforehand that the value of dollar will rise that's where information comes in this is how people make money when it comes to trading or even the malams this is how they make money so if you know that the price of dollar will rise what do you do you quickly buy hundred thousand dollars you buy hundred thousand dollars since you have 38 million. So your 38 million at that period can buy your hundred thousand dollars. So good thing now is in same year 2020, August this time, this value of dollar rose from 380 to how much? 480. That is a hundred naira increase. So at this point now, what you're going to do is what? You sell. You remember when it was 38, you bought because at that time the price was low. So at this time now, you realize that you bought it at a lower price since you understand that the price was going to rise. So when the price rose, what you're going to do now is what? You sell. So at this time, if you sell your $100,000, how much will you get? You're going to be getting $48 million. So how much profit have you made from that transaction is $10 million. 
this is just to show you the simple way you know this uh, when you sell and buy dollar this is how much they make it and how much did they make 10 million by what just by what by price increase just by price increase just based on information so the same thing can also happen on a sale so when it because when it comes to trading you can make money from either a buy or a sell so in this same case also as of, as of that august the price was still 480 to a dollar then you now found out that the price of dollar wants to drop and i can tell you this was that period when if we can remember very well this was that period when our former um vice president um Oshibadu, Yemi Oshibadu. it was that period he became the president for some few weeks so there was information that came out if so if we were very attentive that there was information that came out that the price of dollar wants to drop that they can't make the price of dollar reach 500 naira that they have to find a way to drop it so if you know that the price of dollar wants to drop us at that time, which the information has already started going up, and you know you had $100,000 with you, what are you going to do? You are going to sell it. You are going to sell it. Because you already know that now at this rate of 480, you are going to be losing if you don't sell it. So you sold your what? Your $100,000 at the rate of how much? For 48 million. In September, the price of dollar now fell from 480 to how much? 430. So which means you can just say that, God, thank you for saving me. So at this point now, when the dollar fell, you will now buy back that your $100,000 that you sold. So if you buy back that your $100,000 that you sold, instead of buying it back at the rate of 48 million, you're not buying it back at the rate of how much? For the 3 million, which means you have made how much? You've made 5 million profits. You've made 5 million profits. So this simply is just the way you make money on what? Price difference. Change in price. So the only thing that happened here was you made money on change in price. You, you bought it when it was low and sold it when it was high. That is how information is very key in making money right now, which some of us, we need to understand that we don't have time to be wasting on on unnecessary thing you need to be paying attention on what is happening in the business market exam especially now that there is a central peg i mean cap to dollar i can tell you also a lot of money was made in in some few days ago when this when the federal government um capped the dollar to i think 750 a lot of money was made that day yes i saw it a lot of money was made and also for those of people so for those people who were also not aware that that information was coming out they also lost money yes they also lost money i know someone who made 19 million just by that simple change that simple information that the government did that same money that he had he had that money the value of that money was around how much it was around eight million or so when that information came out he just by nothing by not selling or buying anything the value of his money grew up so how much 19 million and i can also i know someone who also actually lost 9 million because of that same information so we need to understand the, import, the importance of what of news so moving forward we need to understand that what when it comes to trading so you buy for you to profit if you buy you profit when the price goes up and if you sell, you profit when the price comes down. But this is the million dollar question. How do you know at what point we are expected to buy or sell? Because I can tell you, just like this information now that I just told us, for those people that knew that the price of the, um, the dollar want to drop, that took action, made money. So how do you know at what point to buy or at what point to sell now when it comes to e-trading? When it comes to e-trading. So I'm going to give us those information on how to know how to buy and how to sell and once we have that information believe me we are made we are made that's just the simple thing you need to know about it really so i'm going to first ask some questions now this is like a quiz i want to know if some of us are following us so it doesn't look like maybe i'm talking to myself 
I want to know if I have some very smart people in my class today, because most of the time I always have smart people in my class. So the first question is this, which of these is an agro-commodity? Which of these is an agro-commodity? We have the US 30, CHF, JPY, and we have the wheat. I want us to answer. Which of these is an agro-commodity? Oh, Mr. Ayomis, thank you very much. Wheat, fantastic. Um, I still I can still see some of us here that we've not changed our name to our email. Please, the reason why we're asking for that is by the time we are going to be sending us some things, we have some files, some videos and stuff that we send. Please, these are your data that we need to send. We are going to send it to your email. So please try to change your name to your email address. So good. I have very good people answering the question. So our answer here is C, wheat agricultural commodity wheat so the second question is this which of these can be classified under metal as a financial instrument we have cocoa silver and oil which of these can be classified as metal when it comes to financial trade cocoa silver oil good 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 i have very very smart and intelligent people also in my class today which is by which is making me very very happy silver so the third question Currency pair comprises of base and what? Quote, yes or no? Currency pairs comprises of what? Base and quote, true or false? True, thank you very much. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm feeling very excited now. Which of these can be referred to as basket of stocks? You know when I say basket of stocks, that's the group of stocks. We have the US, Euro USD, we have the JPY, I mean GBP, JPY, and we have the US 500. Euro USD, GBP, JPY, US 500. Which of them can be regarded as a basket of stock? US 500, fantastic. So our fifth question, how many currency makes a pair? How many currency makes a pair? Four, three, two. How many currency makes a pair? So when we're saying we are trading in pairs, what do we mean? Two. Oh man, I'm just very excited about this class right now. I'm very, very excited about this. And our last question for this quiz, which of these can make more money from? Which of these can you make more money from? Currency, PS, indices, C, none of the above. Which of these can you make? If you can remember, which of these can you make money from? More money. I'm seeing people saying currency. Are you sure? Indices, fantastic. Indices. I told us indices is where you can make more money. It's a group of stock. It's a group of stock. That's where you can make more money. You make more money from indices than from currencies. Thank you very much. So let's quickly just dive into the other aspect of this so that we don't waste too much time. So let's look at what our price translates to money on the chart. This I'm also going to quickly go through so that we don't take time. How does price translate to money on the chart? So how many of us have seen something like this before? If you have seen something like this before, let me see you say yes. And if you have not, if this is your first time, let me say no. Good. I can see we already have people. Yeah, so now I understand the reason why you can. Uh, if you don't know all the questions I'm asking for saying yes, then there will be a problem. So that means almost every one of us here have seen this before. So good. These are what? These are candlesticks. Fantastic. Mr. Itel, you might need to change your name. I cannot be calling you Mr. Itel. Yes. So this is price chart. This is what it looks like. And this we can see is what we call a downward trend. Your name is Blessing. Please just change your, e change your email. This is what we call a downward trend on the price chart. So since I understand that almost all of us here know what this is, I don't need to spend too much time explaining it. So point, from point A to point B on the chart is a downward trend. It's a downward trend. So this is how we move. In When it comes to trading, each of these candlesticks, like one of us has mentioned, is equal to money. Is equal to what? Equal to money. So this is a downward trend based on the arrow. So when it comes to trading, from this movement from point A to point B, 
as we can see on this picture, is a nine six one pips. It's a nine six one pips. And when it comes to trading, movements are calculated in what? In pips. They are calculated in pips. So how you measure your profits when it comes to trading is this: one pip is equal to ten dollar. So the movement here from point A to point B here made a 961 pips so if you traded from this point a to point b and in at this 961 pips you would have made how much profit? 9610 and you can do this what in a month you can do this what in a month this is a chart on euro usd you can do this anymore calculate this into naira this is an average of what some people are doing monthly some people are even doing far more higher than this monthly but this is just an exam. This is an indication of what you can do monthly. Now, normally when it comes to chart, when it comes to chart, here is what the beginning of the month looks like at point A. At this point A here, where the arrow starts to go up. So, but you don't know whether it's going to go up, which is called an uptrend. You don't know what direction is going to go, whether it's going to go up which we also call an uptrend. Another word for uptrend is what we call a buy trade. Another option is also what? A bullish move. So you don't know what the movement will be. Then we also have another one, which is what? Which is neutral. You can also say it's sideways. You can also say it's what? It's consolidating. Do you understand? So we have the uptrend, we have the neutral, and we have the what? The downtrend. The downtrend, which you can also see as a sell trade or a what? Or a bearish move. So when the, when the market starts from this point A, you don't know whichever direction is going to go, whether it's going to go up, it's going to go sideways, or it's going to go down. You can't tell. So this is where we have some things that helps us to Detect. That is where the point of understanding the movement of the market comes in. This is where you understand the movement of the market, what direction is it going to be, and this is based on what? Information. So the first thing we need to understand, the first asset you need to understand when it comes to trading is what? Is knowledge. When it comes to trading, for you to know what direction price is going to go is what? You need to have knowledge knowledge of the market so then one of the key knowledge to traders one key knowledge traders use is what technical analysis we have three different ways you can know what direction the market is going to go we have the technical analysis we have the fundamental analysis and we have the what sentimental analysis but i'm going to first touch on the technical analysis which is one of the key knowledge traders use to know what directions the price to go and the easiest technical analysis we have i'm going to explain it to us but what is technical analysis what is technical analysis technical analysis is basically the study of what past market actions to help predict what the future market direction is this is where market actions consist of price volumes and open interest so basically is you using what has happened in the past to predict what will happen in the future i remember very well that period which i also some of us, I want to bring out technical analysis when it comes to real life. So if you remember very well, when we wanted to um, vote in Buari, some people were using what he has done before and saying ah, he has ruled us before, whether in the capacity of the military, but what he did then, he is going to do the same thing when he comes. So that's why some people were saying, based on what he has done before, I'm not going to vote for him. What they were doing at that point was use what? technical analysis they were judging based on what he has done before to predict like ah when it comes to this boy my hand is not there he did this he did this and some people are saying yes but he also did this did this this is the reason why i want to bring him in that's what we are doing is what it's called technical analysis some of us to use technical analysis for tinumbu ah he did this in lagos when he was the governor this is what he did when he did this is what he did which is why some people, and another place where we use technical analysis, excuse me, is let's say, for example, you go outside and you see that the weather is dark, the sky is cloudy. That's when we start saying, ah, maybe it wants to rain. The reason why we're saying that is because 
from the past few periods that we see the cloud in that same situation, it rained. So you're just using your past experience that ah, the last time the crowd was like this, it rained. That is what we are doing what technical analysis. And when it comes to technical analysis, there's one key um, indicator that we use most of the time. We have the what? The support and the resistance. Now I'm using this, we can see this arrow. One of the major technical analysis people use, the simplest one that people use to for technical analysis is what we call the support and resistance. So now from the picture we can see here, we can see a point one and point two. So in trading, it is said technically that when a particular trade or a movement hits a particular point twice, it means there is a resistance at that point. That means something is stopping it from breaking beyond that level. And when you notice that on the chart, the next thing you need to do is what? Is to do a sell. It means there is a policy or there is an indication or there is a barrier that is stopping that movement from breaking beyond that level. So what do you do? Is you do a sell. And once you do a sell, what happens? You start making money. This is the simplest technical analysis that you, you should understand as a trader. Understanding the, the, the theory of support and resistance. So when and support and resistance theory simply says when a particular move or a particular commodity or a, an indices or whatever it is or an instrument touches the same place twice and could not break beyond that level, that means there's a resistance. So immediately you notice that movement, the next thing you need to do is what? You should do a sell. And once you do a sell, you start making money. Look at the same case of oil in this situation. At this point now, we are trying to look at what we call the support, what we call a support. So it also says in support that when a movement touches a particular place twice at the bottom, that means it tries to, a particular commodity is trying to, or an instrument is trying to come down to touch a particular place, try to break that same um, threshold the first time it couldn't, bounces back to that same place the second time is an indication that what? There's a barrier also from stopping that price from going beyond that level. And what do you do from there is what? Do a buy. And if you do a buy, what happens? You start making your money. This is the simplest technical trading term when it comes to trading. This, this rule of supply, I mean, the rule of um, support and resistance. And now there's another indication that says, even if there are some times that this same thing, we touch that same place three times, three times. Now it doesn't necessarily need to be twice. Sometimes it can be three times, but once you can see that it, it can't break beyond that particular level, the third time, whether it tries the first time, but you must make sure at least it touches that same level twice. If it touches it the third time, is another confirmation that it cannot go beyond that. And what you do is what? You do a sell. The same thing for what? For the support. It touches the same thing the first time, does the second time, and the next thing you do what? Is what? You do a buy. That is the simplest what? Technical trading term. You need to understand when it comes to trading. This The support and resistance theory. But look at this picture now. How many of us are enjoying what you can say? How many of us like Pandadian Jam first? Let me even first start with that. How many of us like Pandadian? Jam? I know people by default, if you are from those states, you know some of those places. I think it's by default that you need to like Pandadian. Jam. Uh, it's by default you need to like Pandadian. Jam. Sometimes when I come to Undo state, especially in Akure, there's a place in Undo too. I don't know if some of us, if we have other people here, um, there's this Yaojo place. It's a very interesting place to go to, you know, to eat pandanium. Then there's this place also in Akure. Where I'm particular about this particular is that state, that is the food they are known for. In Akure, there's a place called Pandanium Village. Yes. If you find yourself in Akure, just try and go there. You see senators, you see other rich, very rich people there. The cars are parked out, or oh, everybody just wants to come and chop on the jam. But moving on. So what I want to, what I'm trying to show us in this thing is this. Look at this 
I'm, I'm going to explain the support again for you. In support, it means that if a particular commodity or an instrument cannot break below, it cannot go below, you can see this picture now. That means it touches, that instrument got to that point the first time, it went back up, came down again, touched that same place the second time. It's an indicator that there is a barrier. Maybe there's a policy by the government or there is something that is making the price of that commodity not go below that price. It's an indication that what? Something is stopping the price from going there, which means the next move you are going to do if you're a trader is what? Place a buy trade on that instrument and you can be guaranteed that the price will what? We buy. We are now saying that it might even do this. It, for you to be caught for a confirmation, it, it's going to do that twice or three times. You can do that twice or three times. The same thing for resistance. You can do that twice or three times. Once you see that it cannot break below that level, that is just what it means. So, but what I'm also not trying to explain with us with this picture is this, that when it comes to trading, you can either do the hard work, which is these people pounding yam themselves, or you do the smart work, which is using what we call the yam pounder. And what, am I, what do I mean by yam pounder? It just means you using what? Software. So there are some times you can be looking for your resistance and support yourself on the chart, or you can use some softwares that can help you pick resistance and support on the chart. So this is the second thing that is important when it comes to trading. You need to understand that when it comes to trading, one, the first thing is important is what? Knowledge. The second thing that is important when you are trading is what? Is software. That is the second thing that is important when it comes to trading. Software that helps you to tell and also help you to know what the direction of price will go. Now, I want to give us, there are some different kind of software. There, there are some price direction software. There are some price, they call them price direction indicators. Example of them is this fresh pre trading software that tells you what the movement of a price will be. Now, at this point, this thing will only indicate, they are indicators. They only indicate and tell you, ah, the price of this particular commodity wants to go up and tell you what you need to do, whether to buy or the price of that commodity wants to come down. That is what this fresh peep does. So once you have that fresh peep, installed on your trade or your on your chart you see an arrow that comes up like this like this blue arrow that says ah, this particular commodity is about to go up that you need to place a buy and immediately once you place your buy you notice that the price of that commodity starts going up then immediately it notice also again that based remember this fresh pips is using technical analysis is predicting it based on the past market actions so based on the past market actions and the new information is getting, if he's noticing that the price, the chart is changing and is now about to form a sell trade, you get another indication for a sell. And once you get that indication for a sell and you place your sell and you, you can see it, it's very obvious, you can see it for yourself, the market to start selling. This indicator, now, what you need to understand is these indicators, they don't trade for you or like some EAs that some of, I can see someone already mentioned maybe robots. Robots are EAs, they are called SPAC advisors. Yes, in this case, these ones are indicators. EAs might trade for you. EAs sometimes trade for you, depending on how you set it. But for this ones, they are indicator. They only indicate what the movement of the price is, whether it's going up or it's going down. So you will be the one to place the trade yourself, but it gives you a direction of what the price will do. So in this case now, once you place your buy or you place your sell, you just start what? You just start counting your pips and they are equal to what? Equal to money. So they will just tell you what to do and you'll be the one to place the trade yourself. Then we also have this trend profit maker software. These are different softwares. We actually trade. We usually give all our clients. We all, we give our clients which I'm sure that's the reason why we are telling all of us here, if you are here, you have, you have still not changed your name to your email, please do. Because this software is given to all our clients for them to be able to trade properly. So the second one is this, Trend Profit Maker. The Trend Profit Maker. Now, in the case of Trend Profit Maker, instead of just having arrows telling you whether to buy or to sell, like the Fresh Pips, where all we do is what? We get arrows, whether to buy or to sell. But in the case of the trend profit maker, you also get 
confirmations down here. If you can see down here, you see some red and blue colors there. You can see some red and blue colors there. Those are other further confirmations. So let me give us an example of what this means. Let me use as an example. So let's say, for example, now we are like five, not even five, we are like 20 in this room now. And one person just comes in, you know, like these fresh peeps. One person just comes in and say, ah, they are sharing dollars outside though. You know, some of us will not believe. Some of us will believe. That is what the fresh peep is like. For those of us who believe, like, oh, okay, we can go for it. But when it comes to the case of the train profit maker, so let's say the first person have come in and said that ah, they are sharing dollar outside though. Some of us will like, okay. But you now get confirmation when three or four more people now still say that same thing. Is a confirmation that act for two or three people to say it. That means that's actually what's happened. That's what the train profit maker does. So apart from the train profit maker giving you a horror arrow of whether to buy or to sell, he also gives you further confirmation down here. So in this case of the buy sell, when we are seeing the blue arrow from the first movement, if all you see all this other converse, all this confirmation, everything here must turn red to further prove that yes, truly this price of this commodity is going what? It's going up. And that is a further proof for you to understand. Ah, okay, based on this, is a confirmed movement. Then the same thing again, when you see the arrow changes to red, you also get confirmation of everything turning blue. That's another confirmation that truly you can do that. So that's the same way the trend profit maker works. So he, he, apart from give, showing the arrow, he also gives you further confirmation of whether to buy it or what, or to sell. Whether to buy or to sell. Then we also have this one, the breakout pro max strategy software. How does the breakout pro max strategy software work? In this, in this case, what the breakout pro max does is this. This one will even give you the points of entry. It will give you the point of entry. How much, at what point should you enter that trade? And at what point should you close it with different what? Different target prices. Our target price. So it tells you for you to make maybe 58 pips, close it at this range. Buy it at this point. Close it at this point. That it gives you exact. This one is it gives you exact. Exact entry points, exact closing points. So you even you can even predict or calculate how much you are going to make even before entering. So that is what the breakout pro max does. They give you these are using what they are all using technical analysis. So we have been able to understand now when it comes to trading that two things are very important. The first thing is what knowledge, and the second thing is what software. The first thing knowledge, the second thing software. So when it comes to trading, these two things must be very important. Now, the question is, how do I start? How do I start? Because I'm sure that's one of the questions a lot of us have been asking yourself. How do I start? Okay, I've seen how to buy or software that can help me trade. How do I start? So you need to understand that, like we've mentioned or stated, that the most important thing is what? Knowledge and software knowledge and software and what we always do is this we always assume or we always believe that everybody here might not be expert traders yet may not be expert traders yet so what we always do is we invite you to always join our training class first to join our training class first which we call the classic financial trading program the classic financial trading program now this class we have them both online and offline we have them offline at all our offices. When we say offline, it means physical. That means you can come to any of our offices and attend these classes for free, as long as you are a what? As long as you are a rally client. And I want to believe that everybody that is joined in into this class already are rally clients. That's one thing I want to believe. So once you are a rally client, you can join in this class automatically where you can learn how to trade profitably because one thing about trading is what you have to be profitable about it so how you can trade profitable so either you join it online or offline so what we usually do is this training is always in two days it's a two days class at beginner level 
at any of our offices from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you are doing it physically, it's 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you are doing it virtually, you have three days, 10 a.m. to 12 for three days. But physical, if you are at any of our offices, Lagos, Portacot, Ibadan, Abuja, physically from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And what are you going to be learning in this class? You're going to be learning what? The financial market, how to buy, how to sell. You're going to be learning the fundamental analysis, how to bridge your trades fundam using fundamental analysis, how to predict trades using fundamental analysis, technical analysis, introduction to money management. You need to learn how to manage your money when it comes to trading. Then how to trade profitably, which is the key. How to trade profitably and also risk management in trading risk management in trading and the last thing is how to develop a trading business plan because i can tell you one of the things is this when it comes to trading you need to have a target what we 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 allow our train our clients to understand that when it comes to trading you set your daily target for yourself so today uh, i'm going to be doing maybe i'm going to be making twenty thousand dollars once i make my twenty thousand dollars today i'm fine uh, or no it is two million i want to make daily or no it's uh, 5,000 I want to make daily. You need to have your trading plan. If not, you're just going to be trading anyhow. And I can tell you some of us here, the reason why we are, we 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 meet people who say they don't really know how to trade is because some people just believe trading is something I can just go in and gamble. It's not gamble. You need to understand the fundamentals when it comes to trading. So that is why you need to join this trading class, the classic financial trading class for two days at any of our offices physically then how much is this cost how much is this cost this is where most of the time if it was a physical class i used to lock the door and tell you that if you don't if you don't pay you're not going anywhere so how much is this cost how much okay so i can see um dara asking how do i gain access online you will definitely we're going to show you how to gain access to that which i believe um the the question has been answered and how do you get this software very good so but the first thing is this how much is this cost how do i get this cost normally for those of us who are traders you understand that trading is a business like every that is this trading is a business and is is a high value business to be exact where to learn it you need to pay very well for it i can tell you the training I'm giving to you for is not for free. I've learned, I've spent a lot of money also to learn this thing that we are giving out for me. But I, I can tell you, I can tell you, if I can see people who are committed to say, okay, I'm ready to pay maybe twenty thousand naira to learn this thing, I will, I will admit them now. And I'm, I just want to know if I can get maybe or two or three people that can tell me uh, I can pay. 20,000 to learn how to make 2 million naira weekly. Do I have anybody who is interested in that deal? The 20K. Okay, I can see Mr. Ojo, good. So definitely I know that I have people who are ready to, to start the business. I don't even need too much people. Online, once I know that I have people, and I'm going to show you an example of someone who I took through the same process also. And he did a withdrawal of two, this two million. That's why I understand that anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. Now, so this is this. So if you are interested in this course, I can tell you for those of us that show interest in this course, I'm going to be giving you this training for free. It's just not that it's not that, as I mean, it's physical now. I'll be saying you should clap for me. But since it's not physical. So this training, you're going to be getting it for free. But there are conditions, and those conditions I'm going to point them out. There are conditions. These conditions to get this training for free are just three. Very just three very simple conditions for you to get it. And the first one is this: you need to have an open account with what we rally trade. You need to have an account with rally trade. So if you have an account with rally trade, I'm telling you. You're going to get this training for free. And I want to believe everybody here have gone through this first stage. If you have not gone through this first stage, good. If you have an account, you, you are automatically at least qualified for this first stage. Then the second stage is this. You need to fund your account. 
with your startup capital. And I'm going to tell us the minimum startup capital that I'm expecting. You need to fund your capital with that. The reason why I'm asking you to fund your capital with your startup, I mean, to fund your account with your startup capital is what? Is to show me that you are really interested. You know, there's this word I used to say, Enoshe. Enoshe, I work on the music. If you are interested, there are ways to show me that you are interested. And I'm only going to be ready to take up people who have funds in their account, who are the ones I'm going to show how to actually trade profitably. And if you say you don't have an account with us, believe me, before the end of this class, we are going to show you how to have an account with us. All right, guys, it's very simple. If you go to our website, just fill the form. There's a form there once you fill you get an email that you have an account you click the email just to verify and that's it so if you fund your account with your trading app um, if you fund your account with your trading capital and remember this your trading capital is your money it's your money you want to trade with so it's not like you're giving me any money to trade i only want to be sure that i'm training people who are really and ready to trade then the third thing is what you have to submit your ID card. The reason for submitting your ID card is just for KYC processes. You know, so we are not asking you for the physical copy. You are just going to, we call it the spiritual copy. You know, it's just the virtual copy. So you, when you are registering with us, there's a portal where you just submit your ID card. And the reason is for us to be able to do what? To put a face to the name. And all of this is because of, we don't want fraudulent activities. We are a regulated brokerage firm. So we are trying to use that to, you know, to control fraud that is anti-money laundering law and the reason is this the funds that you are doing must come in from your name so the name be so you have to be sure that the name on your id card and the name that you are registering with us are the same and the, so that the reason is because we're able to trace the same data together so even if you want so if maybe let's say you want to fund your account and you don't have the money and you want somebody that wants to pay for you the person should transfer that money to your own account then you will fund it from your own account for those who want to do transfer so that is how you fund your account so i can see that a lot of us have been asking us how much is the minimum how much is the minimum so i'm going to show us the minimum so one thing i want to also point out is this we rally trade for every deposit you make as your first deposit. If you do this deposit, normally you get 50%. You get 50% extra bonus from on your deposit. So if you do 50,000 Naira, we are going to give you additional 25,000. So that means you are going to be getting how much in your trading account, 75. So if you do 100,000, you're going to get in 50,000. But I can tell you because I have promised everybody that joined this training today that I'm going to be doing bigger than that. So if you do, if you should fund your account today, I'm going to be giving us a hundred thousand. I mean that is a hundred percent bonus. So which means if you fund your account today with a hundred thousand, yeah, I'm going to add another hundred thousand to it, which means you're going to be having two hundred thousand to trade with. You can understand that you can see that I'm ready for business. I'm only interested in people who are ready. So if you should do 50,000 also, it means I'm going to have 50,000 additional to your money, which means you'll be able to trade with 100 with 100,000. It means you'll be able to trade with 100,000. So that is the free gift that I'm willing to give those who are interested in trading. And this bonus will go out to everybody that is interested in trading today if you deposit in your trading account. So what are the different packages you can start with? What are the different packages you can start with? So I'm showing us some of the packages you can start with right now. So this is, we have the basic. We have the basic. So the basic is how much, as you can see here, is what? 20,000 is 20,000. And the reason why is this, so if you should do 20,000 Naira now, or 20,000 Naira before the end of today, you're going to get an additional how much? Additional 20,000 to trade with. And you're going to be getting this fresh pre trading software I talked about, the one that shows indication where the price is going to go. Then you're going to get the what? The trading scholarship. So that is the free access to our training class. If you say, okay, no, you don't want to do 20,000. You want to go higher. That is 50,000. You are going to get 
the fresh people, so trading software, which is the price direction software, the, the free access to our training class, then you're also going to be getting what we call the trade int. Now, our trade int is, we call it the trading because they are indications of what you can trade and how to make money from them. Some of us have been saying, okay, so I want to start making money, but how do I know what to trade and all of that? That's what our trading is. We send our trading to all our clients on what they need to trade every day. Because we also analyze the market from our side. Also, we also trade and we make our money. So what we do is we analyze the market and we give our profitable trade. This are the additional benefit of joining Rally Trade, of trading with Rally Trade. Then you also have access to joining our Zoom classes. You, we have our money market review where we analyze the market in the morning and tell people what the market is going to look like today, what instrumental to, what instruments to trade and which one to run away from. Then also we have the what the classic package, which is a hundred thousand. So it means if you should do hundred thousand there, you get additional hundred thousand to trade with. So automatically you have two hundred thousand to trade it. And I can tell you the simple rule of business is also applied to trading which means with more money, you can make more money. So if someone should deposit 20,000 Naira, when that person that's deposited 20,000 Naira is making maybe 2,000 Naira, 3,000 Naira daily, someone that did the 100,000 Naira is going higher. That person can averagely be making 15,000, 20,000, even as high as 50,000, because at that point you'll be trading with almost 200,000. You can be making that much money daily. You can be making that much money daily then also we have these other packages which is the premium premium and premium starts with 150k so if you do 150k automatically you get the total bonus of 300,000 to trade with that is additional 150,000 to trade with then we have the luxury and you can see the luxury package comes with the trend profit maker software that also confirms the indication and say, okay, if you are trading, this is if it's a buy, it's a buy, if it's a sell, it's a sell. Then you get this other, you also get additional indicators apart from the fresh pips. You get, we have other sustained indicators that we give you. We have the Bollinger Band indicators, you know, we have the, we have so many other indicators that we're going to have to, for those who did, who are luxury clients, then we now have the VIPs. We have the VIPs. For the VIPs, they get all of this other software with a one-on-one -on -one class. They get all of this software that we have with a one-on-one -on -one class. So that's the advantage of being a VIP. And all our offices have what we call the VIP rooms, where you can enter, you know, a different room. You have your own TVs and all of those. Your different, their chair is different and all of those things. So if you do 600,000, you become a VIP. Your own trading experience is different. So that are the different, I mean, those are the different packages. I'm trying to look at the questions we have here. I, okay, someone said I have a, my NIN. So if you have your NIN, let me just point it out here. If you have your NIN, please, you will support your NIN with your what? With your birth certificate. The reason for that is this. Your NIN doesn't have your date of birth. And we need to have your date of birth. Our normal passport maybe our international passport our driver's license all of those other ones have our date of birth on it but if you are presenting your nin as your id card you need to support it with your birth certificate for us to know the age and the deposit i'm telling us is in naira not in dollar so it's a 150,000 naira 300,000 naira 50,000 naira not in dollars you understand me Okay, I'm seeing some someone here. Okay, I'm a civil servant. I want to deposit the 150k for a start. Yes, now you can do that also. Your account manager will contact you and you will discuss how you are going to do your deposit. Your account manager will discuss with you. I'm seeing some people, I'm seeing most of us saying we want to wait till ending. Now, this is what you can do, which I can give us as an indication. Um, I can give us this. Okay, I can see an NIN as a bit as we go. Are you sure? Okay, there's a way you can actually download your NIN from, there's an app, the NIMC app, where you can download, there's an NIMC, NIMC app where you can download your ID card. You understand? So the reason is because these are the KYCs that we are required to demand from clients. So it's not up to us, it's what the industry requires. 
So we have the KYC that are requested for more. So that's the reason why we're asking that. If you have a voter's card, fantastic. That can solve it. Your driver's license, that's that's enough. You all of those, we have all of those things that those one is only for people that are using NIN that we need their birth certificate to support it. So for those of us that are saying we want to do it by the end of the month, this is one of the things I want to do. You can do like what? Like um Bruce Kovner. Now, why what do you mean by Bruce Kovner? Because you already know that you are going to get that money. If you can borrow, let me tell you this: if you can borrow from somebody, borrow it. Now, one of the things that you need to understand is this: your capital is actually withdrawable anytime. So it doesn't mean because you fund your account now, you'll not be able to withdraw your account. No, with no. You can borrow from someone just to be able to take advantage of this bonus. And by the time maybe you get your money back, you cannot refund that person. I can tell you that. I'm telling you now, if you is it's a guarantee. The reason why you might need to borrow is just for you to take advantage of this bonus. Take advantage of this extra capital bonus that you're going to get. If you borrow the money, and the thing is this, if you say you need the money by two, uh, by next week, all you need to do is, there are some documentations that will be required. And that simple documentation is just bank statement of where we are to send that money back to. And once that is done, you get your money back. But that's what I'm telling you. For those of us that are really serious about doing this, no one can borrow some. <laughs> well, it depends. Remember what I said. If you are, if you are, if you, if right now you can't have anybody to run to, then there's a problem. You need to change your friends. It was a decision I made with myself some years ago that if, let's say, for example, I, I enter in one millionaire problem right now and I don't have anybody I can call, there's a problem. Same way also, if you find out that right now you can't see anybody, you need to look at your circle very well and change your friends. And this is not joking, the uh, jokes apart. You need to redefine your friends and that is how your life can move forward. So, but I'm just giving us those indications. You trade, you trade in, you trade in Naira. If you want to trade in dollars, you can also do dollar. We have dollar accounts where you can deposit in dollar, trade in dollar, and make your money in dollar. So if you want to trade in Naira, so you can deposit in Naira, trade in Naira, and what? Make your money in Naira. So just to quickly round up. Yes, we are rounding up. So you can screen grab what you can see right now. So for those of us that want to make our deposit today, you can screen grab this image right now. These are the account numbers you can trade you can do your deposit to these are the account numbers you can do your deposit to we are rounding up the class already do your deposit into this account then i'm also going to give us my number so for those of us who want to ask further questions or maybe you've made your deposit and you want to you can send me a proof of payment so that we can start working on the account immediately add the money add the bonus and you can start learning and trading as fast as possible so just screen grab this account number and you can write it down you can do whatever with it these are the account numbers you can trade into and you can see that it's a corporate account number it's not the it's not a personal account it's not account in my name is the company's account so you can send anyone into any other account apart from this one so if anybody calls you and say no there's this account i want to give you to trade much no please make sure the money is sent to this account so that that way we can track the records so how do you deposit and how do you withdraw quickly let me just quickly do this so there's what we call the client office which some of us might have on that might have gone through if you enter your email and the login details you have what we call the dashboard so at the top of the dashboard you can see dashboard account deposit and withdrawal so if you want to withdraw click on withdraw that is after you deposit and you want your money or after trading and you want to withdraw your profits just come to your client office enter the trading account which you have which you might have more than one account select the one you want to withdraw from once you select it enter the amount you want to withdraw and click withdraw all you will be requested to submit is your what your bank statement once you submit your bank statement that's all the money will be transferred into your trading account i mean your bank account automatically once we verify the bank statement then also same way if you want to deposit you click on deposit for those of us that want to use our card you click on deposit you can see but this one you must have had your trading account before you can do 
use your card because this one goes depo the deposit goes straight into your trading account so you select your account you want to transfer into click on instant you can see from here click on instant or wire you select the bank you are transferring it to you enter the amounts after entering the amount it's going to show you all those bank i mean your your the process of you know when we when we are trying to make online payment enter your card details and all of that once you've done that and you click submit automatically the money goes into what into your trading account so these are our own risk management system that we have created and like i said earlier your capital is what is withdrawable anytime so we are not going to keep your money if you say you are no longer interested your money is withdrawable anytime we know that once we are able to show you how it's done take advantage of our bonus and you start trading we can guarantee you how you can start making money immediately then also you need to be educated first before you start that's the essence of joining our training class the reason why we're saying you need to be educated first is because we understand that you don't really have an idea of how these things work so we are going to show you teach you it's like saying you want to start trading we can't tell you now that it's like saying you want to start driving you need to learn how to drive first because you don't know how to drive and that's why we have our third process which is what you practice on demo before going live the reason why you practice on demo before going live is because we know that if you can't make money on demo is an indication that you will lose your money on your real account so first you need to practice on demo learn how to trade when to trade when not to trade and once you master the act of trading on demo then you're ready to go live then we have our traders room at all our offices for mentorship and development that is our training classes and all of that then your bonus that i showed us right now we are running the 100 percent tomorrow it might reduce so that's why you need to take advantage of the bonus presently so you bonus to trade once you add the bonus to your whatever capital which you've done like we've indicated you it means you have more money to trade to make more money then we also give you the trading software like i showed us those are additionals that comes in to for every client of rally and our daily trading alerts and analysis so we we'll share we we'll share with you what you need to trade we send them to your email we also send them in our telegram group you can also join our youtube pages you will see analysis different analysis we do daily as right now this is two o'clock we should be having another analysis coming up very soon which is why i need to quickly round up this class for people who want to trade live there is a live trading analysis class that starts in the next five minutes so that is why we need to understand that there are so many things that we put in place for you to do what to make money to make money and also these are all our different classes we have the e-business foundation class where we show you other businesses you can make money from the classic financial trading class which is the one you need to start with then the post classic is now for the advanced classes the classic the cftp is for the basic the beginner level the pftp is the advanced then we have the virtual financial trading program also which is another this is our online training class for people who wants to trade so this is my own number you can write it down you can munch it so for those of us who are making our deposit now you can contact me after you make your deposit just make sure you do your deposits so that the reason why i'm asking for this is so that we can quickly start fast tracking the payment system by creating your account adding the bonus onto it so that we can make our trading seamless and for those of us also who will ask questions so my number is 080 623 080-623-774-83 so that's my number. I said it earlier. My name is Adeyemi Oluwashim. It's been so yes, we are actually rounding up now. So um I can see um Miss Precious or Mr. Precious, your battery is low. So I'm also trying to make sure you don't miss anything else. So just you can just save up my number, munch the the um the how would I put it, the transfer those are the two most important things right now once you've done that that is all so any one of us that have made deposits just let me know send me proof of payment chat me up on this number 
and let's have a wonderful trading experience. I want to say thank you for joining us for this wonderful class. I believe it's not a wasted time. I want to believe it's not a wasted time. And by, like I said also, after we finish, just go and stand on the weighing scale and see that you've learned one or two things. Your skill, your size must have what? Must have increased. So thank you once again. It was a lovely time spending this, my at least my two, um, two hours, some minutes with you. You've been a very fantastic audience with me and have a lovely day. Thank you very much and see you in class. Bye for now.